Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to show you how to serialize and deserialize POJOs with JSON B, Jakarta EE JSON B. So how to do this? Um, so first we need a project and uh, I would like to create a stock project with the name JSON B. And um, this project, um, oh, we already have the POM. So uh, I would like to add the dependency and I would go with the reference implementation uh, of uh, Java E uh, called Yason and here we have it I would use uh, the recent version 107 okay now what we need we need also a POJO so let's create the POJO and the POJO is going to be a developer with the developer has a name and also an age and for test purposes or presentation purposes, I would like to create two string as well. So um, now we have it and let's go with a simple main method. So there is no main method, so let's create one. And I would like to call a class with the name app. And this class should have a main method and um, what I would like to do first is to instantiate the developer. So go with that developer, d equals new developer, and we have developer as a name, and the name is, in our case, JSON. And the JSON is, of course, 42. So we have it. And now let's try to serialize it. So now how to serialize the JSON. So first we need the JSON builder. And uh, we don't have JSON builder. And uh, we don't have anything to configure. So we can use the shortcut with create. And what we get back is we get uh, a JSON B object back. I'll call it JB. And with the JB, I can say to JSON, and I can serialize the JSON to JSON. <laughs> so now we have the serialized JSON. Serialized developer JSON in JSON format. So we have it, and now let's print it out. And now let's try to deserialize the JSON from JSON. How to do that? JB from JSON and serialized is the string and uh, we need the developer class. So go with that class. So it looks good. And then we will get a copy of the developer and then let's print it out and let's see what happens. So run it and yeah this is the main class and now it seems to work so the copy developer is json with the age of 42 and this is obviously the copy so this is the origin developer and this is the deserialized copy so um we can use json b jakarta e or uh, java e api even for standalone applications for serialization and deserialization in json format so thank you for watching see you at the upcoming conferences airhex live airhex.com or if you have any questions left, yeah, hex.tv. So thank you and bye.